Alright guys, so how this next command works is like this. So you have the replace word in front and then in parentheses right here is your different, your three main parts and you have to have each of these parts. The string, for example, would be the whole part you're looking at. So in this case, this sentence would represent the string. You want to find what you want to replace within that string. So for example, we want to replace this word. So this word escaped would go here. And this whole thing would go here. And then you replace it with what you wanted. So this could be any word that you wanted, for example, and changing this to avoided. Alright, so that's how that works. Alright, to, so to explain this command, let's go ahead and set this up to CD like we did before, or we can set it up to whatever, like say this is any variable you want. Um, and then we're going to put different parts in. So first, the whole part we're looking at is wscript.script full name. And that's going to be the entire path to your script, the location. So, so this right here would be in an example of what this could represent. What we want to find is this part of it, so just the name. So that is wscript dot script name. And we've learned these values um, in our script directory lessons, which was quite a while back now. Okay, so what we want to replace it with would be either nothing, so that we would just have the path, and that would equal this or we could put another document in there for example down here I have our main vscript file but what is working alongside is this file one so go ahead and type that in and now you'll have a location and recently I've got a few questions saying you know it's not saving right and if that is happening go ahead and just make sure this is on all files so it'll, it'll be more clean and know exactly what to do but like say Windows 7 usually and, and uh, knows to just convert it to vscript as long as you have that .vbs extension but if you are having troubles make sure it's on all files right there. Right, jumping into this lesson I already have it pre-written up and I'm just gonna walk through it uh, with y'all. So here's just the variables up top obviously we're going to need the scripting dot file system object this is just because we're going to be writing to these files and here is our path location like I just explained this just linking this replace with this file right here so if you didn't want to use this you could just use a path so the first thing we're gonna do is open this file right here which has some text in it and we're gonna open it up and read all of it into a word called content so a variable called content right here then we're going to close it for reading so that number one stands for reading then we're going to open it up for writing so that's the two value remember and this is, again is just the location of the file and we're going to write and then we're going to use the replace command and our string or other words what we're looking at is this whole document like here here's the content remember we're reading all of it into that word and we're going to replace all the Johns so here here to the word Adam so let's save that and go ahead and run it and then it says complete at the end and we'll go ahead and open that up and now indeed all the Johns are now Adams so that's simply how that works. Alright, but what if you only wanted to replace one of the words to change? So for example, we just wanted to change this John and not this John. Well then you would have to give it a little more to look at. So for example, have the, the word before it and then have John because this John doesn't have the word named before it. So it's going to be specifically looking for that right there. So in our file, We'll just type named John, and now it's going to find just this section of it, and then we can just switch it up to named Adam. So it will replace named John with named Adam. So save that, and run it, and then here we go. 
with the file and now you'll notice the change it says named Adam instead of named John. Let's go ahead and say we wanted to delete the word water. Put water right here and just leave the replace field blank. So now we're going to save this and go ahead and run it again. So now you'll see the word water is gone. Alright, let's use this same command, but now let's put it in an input box. So this time we'll have control over which words we want to replace without editing our pscript file. So what this is doing is all the same stuff as before. We're reading all of the document into the word content, and now we have two input boxes. One is the word O, and one is the word N for old and new. And all we're doing is saying put the content in the input section of the message box and then our title just says to enter a word or phrase you want to replace within the document and then our new our second input box is going to stand for in and notice up here in the title this O is going to be this input box so whatever we type in here will show up here so that we can see what we want to replace it with alright then we uh, I went ahead and put replace equals here's the string here's what we're finding is the old input and then we're replacing it with what we want the new and then we're closing that and then here we go opening it for writing and just writing our changes like say you can have this whole word right here and put it in place of this you don't have to set up a separate variable called change but I just showed you so you can do that those options are available. Alright, and then uh, the end here is just opening it back up in a message box and reading it all out for us just so we can see our changes without opening up the file again. So let's run this and notice here is our file with inside the input box and we can just says it's enter a word to replace so we can pick one out. Let's replace like we did before, let's replace John hit enter and then up here it says replace John with what so we can pick so let's put Ben hit OK and now it shows our message box of our changes so here is Ben right here that we switched okay so works just like that if we wanted to replace a whole line or for example this we wanted to add back on the word water here let's let's do in the so that it knows where we're located at because nowhere else has the word in the consecutively after another. Alright, so now it knows about where we're at. So now retype in the so it keeps those words and add on water. So now we hit OK and look at there, we added back on the word water. Alright, so that's how that works. Um, both these codes will be in the description for y'all to easily copy it and get how it works, but that's just a replace command. And uh, I will be doing a more advanced lesson on this later, so look out for that. And thanks for watching.